And so they're going to learn how to tell others. They're going to learn how to be spirit-led. Well, I probably should have said led of the spirit, but they need to learn to be spirit-led. They're going to talk to others. They're going to be led of the spirit. They're going to tell others. They're going to be led of the spirit. They're going to learn how to follow the Lord because they're going to find issues in life that they don't understand, and they're going to learn how to open up their Bible and read it and find answers. Did anybody have the mom that does, did everything for you? She cleaned the house, did the laundry, made the meal, washed the dishes for you, and the kids did nothing. That's not the house we run. <laughs> I don't make my kids do my laundry, but they do a lot of making of the meals and cleaning up and so forth. I would be having a nervous breakdown if I had seven children and I had to sit at the table and go, okay, one for you. Ah, ah. It starts grossing me out after they get up to about four, you know, to stick food in their... Do it yourself. Grab the spoon. I'm not going to feed you. But as churches, what do we have? 5,000 people at the buffet, and the pastor's out spoon-feeding every one of them because they don't even know where their Bible is. But the sooner that kid learns... I don't care if the kid knows how to use a spoon. Just stick your hand in there and eat it, buddy. This is survival. This is a boarding house, you know? Just, there you go. Let's paint your face with it. We'll hose you off later. But I'm excited. They might not even know what they're doing, but they're, they're learning to self-feed. Hallelujah. And now I've got kids not only self-feeding, but that will feed me. Hey, Paul invested in people, and then re- later he wrote them a letter and says, you're the ones that feed me joy. You're the ones that are investing back into me. Where's my joy except it comes from you? You are, the, you are a source of life. So he'd invest in these people till they matured to the point where they could bless the parent back. That's the kind of kingdom of God we should be seeing where we don't have so many dependents, but people grow and feed others. They grow, they train others. Because Jesus says, many are called, but few are chosen. There's many that need to come into this thing, but there's only so few that actually make it. I want to be part of helping people make it. I don't want to see people thrown out. And I know there's people I've won to the Lord that are going to be thrown out. They're not going to make it. I've tried. I gave it everything I had. And maybe some of it I did wrong. But as much as it depends on me, I want the next person to be somebody that I help them make it on their own. Not that they have to run to me and say, oh, I've got a problem. I've got a question. Solve it for me, oh, great guru. I want them to run to the Lord.